the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is you guys can see here we have a little bit extra numbers. Now, when we are solving square roots uh, or solving uh, square root equations, also the same thing when we're solving um, equations with irrational powers, the main important thing before we can get rid of, before we can apply the inverse operation is we have to isolate, you have to isolate your square root or your power with the rational root. So right now I see I have the square root of x minus 2, and this is so important. We have to isolate this. So we look at what is happening to this power, what is happening to this. You guys can see it's being added by 9. Jessica, thank you. It's being added by 9. So the first thing we need to do, Jessica, is undo adding by 9. So we're going to subtract 9. Please put it away. Just put it down. Thank you. So we subtract 9 on both sides. So therefore, I have the square root of x minus 2 equals 5. Does everybody see me? See this? This is the main thing that students like forget and one of the most common mistakes. So if you guys can basically just remember this one rule, before you use the inverse operations, you have to isolate it. And once you isolate it, now we apply the inverse operation. So now I square both sides, and I get um, x minus 2 equals 5 squared, which is 25. Now I have a, rational, or a uh, linear equation that I can just add. So x equals 27. Then again, ladies and gentlemen, also want to just make sure I plug this back in. However, this one's fairly simple. I'm going to do this in my head. If I plug 27 in for x, 27 minus 2 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5, plus 9 is 14. So that checks out. All right. <clears throat>